Hello, it's Sunday the 24th of May. Most Newcastle fans are waiting for the official announcement of the takeover. But yesterday, BBC journalist Dan Rohn released a clip of an interview he did with the Premier League chief, Richard Masters. The question is, should we be worried about this? Firstly, let's see what Masters actually said, because it has got people worked up. Uh, our own and directors test is what it is. It's there for everyone to see and we will be talking about that on a confidential basis when we get to these issues. So here are my thoughts on this situation. Firstly, Masters was speaking in general terms. It was made quite clear in his previous answer that he couldn't specifically talk about Newcastle United because of the confidentiality issues. So his answer to this question and the part where he says when we get to those issues was, in my opinion, him explaining in general terms that whenever a fit and proper person's test happens, anything relevant to the process will be covered when it's the right time to do so. I don't believe he was saying that in the Newcastle deal we haven't got to that point yet because, as I said, he very clearly stated that he couldn't talk about any confidential process. So any answer he gave wasn't in relation to Newcastle United and the Saudi PIF. As it's a confidential process, he cannot come out and say anything about the deal. He can't say the ownership test is finished or even that it's in process. Masters' answers amounted to a long-winded no comment. Perhaps it was slightly clumsy. I can see why some would view it that way, but personally, I think it depends on how you interpret it. And clearly many fans are interpreting it in a different way to me. But I just can't look past the fact that he was not talking about this specific takeover deal when he made his answer. It's also probably worth pointing out that this interview was part of a wider interview about Project Restart and we don't know how much preparation Masters had with these questions coming. So did, was he aware that he was going to be asked? Was he thinking on the spot? I think it's also worth pointing out that Dan Rohn, the journalist, uh, has been asked subsequently whether he thinks the takeover will still go ahead. And he answered yes, he was quite sure that it will still happen, he believes it's going to happen. So to me that's still a positive as well. I mean this is a guy who spoke to the, the, the Premier League chief and he still believes that this is going to go through. And my own personal view on this and the feeling I got from this was that Masters' turn was one of defiance really. I think the Premier League are under massive pressure, but as he said, the ownership test is what it is. And we've heard that many times that there's nothing in the test that can cause anything more than a minor bump in the road. There's nothing that can't be sorted out. Uh, there's nothing problematic that's going to derail the deal in the, in the ownership test. I got the impression Masters was quite defensive around it all and was actually probably irritated to be asked. He was short and blunt in his reply. Perhaps he worded it clumsily, like I said, but ultimately, journalists are going to try and get a story. And the story here would be if they could stop the takeover. Not because it's Newcastle United, but because when human rights are thrown into the mix, the people making the decisions are fair game to be put under pressure. And I think as fans, we've just got to understand and accept that that is what's happening here, and it isn't a personal attack on Newcastle United or its fans. Basically, it's all part of the process, in my view. And, and the fact is that there are lots of reputable media outlets claiming it's being green-lighted green anyway. So they've they put their reputation out there to say that this deal has all but been assured now. And we could just simply be waiting for the cash to be transferred into Mike Ashley's bank account. Thank you very much for watching this video on my channel. If you've enjoyed this, please consider subscribing and hit the like button too. That would help me massively. And on the screen right now, there's a couple of other videos of mine that you might enjoy. And I will see you really soon for another video.